Hi, Pastor Joel. Hi, Steve. I am a former bartender. I have been in the restaurant industry for over 25 years. I was at the same location for over 18. I loved it. I got sick. I came back to work. They cut my schedule. They let me go. I have since had an incredibly hard time finding something else. I have knocked on every door. I have done everything that I could possibly think to do, only to keep being told I'm too old. You're not young enough. You don't have the spirit. You, you don't have the energy. But I do. I do. I was, I'm awesome at what I do. I have a positive attitude. I'm a dedicated creature. And I'm just at a crossroads. I'm, I'm just looking for some sort of suggestion or thought. Yeah. Well, Robin, our hearts go out to you because I can tell you do have the energy and you're beautiful and I, I know God has something else. You know, sometimes God closes a door for a reason and we don't understand it, but I, I do think we have to stay open. I can go back to my own life and I thought I'd be doing production and editing my whole life and when my dad died, I knew I was supposed to step into this other door. So my encouragement was to keep your attitude of faith, keep being positive, keep doing what you can do, but also to stay open because how do you know God's not going to use you maybe in a, even in a bigger way? And I just believe God will get you to where you're supposed to be. Like Pastor said, I mean, your calling probably ain't to be a bartender. So, you know, I mean, since you lost that job right there, it's probably an opportunity to, to like he said, be open to something else. Hey, Steve. I just wanted to give you an update since being on your show. I went out the next day and I had an interview and got the job. I don't know if it was through diligence or the power of prayer, but it worked, and I'm very excited about that. I also just found out today that I've been accepted into Blackjack Dealer School. The dog's excited, too. And I will start that path in December, so that could most definitely be my new calling. I really appreciate your input, and I'd really like to thank Pastor Joel for being such a positive spirit as would Tiny Little Biscuit.